Welcome to Lovely's Crafting Lodge. Today we are starting a new series called Journal Madness. So basically the next couple weeks are full of basketball games. So what are you going to be doing during the plethora of games? Um, you really should think about joining me for Journal Madness. Uh, jump in wherever you are. You can make one journal, you can make 50 journals, do whatever you want. It's Journal Madness, right? Um, so hang out, create with me at Lovely's Crafting Lodge. Today is, um, I guess I'm just going to kind of explain where my head's at and kind of give you a breakdown. So my videos are going to follow the game schedule. So every day that games are played for the competition, I am going to post a video. So today is uh, what's called the first four. And I'm going to tell you guys uh, my themes and we're going to pick out pages. So um, I guess the highlights of everything are on the on April 3rd, I'm going to have, uh, you know, the final four. So I'll have a final flip through of all four journals because I have four journals and four themes. That's the plan. I might end up doing more. Um, you know how that goes. <laughs> Um, and then they will be listed on Etsy the night of the championship, which is April 5th at 9 p.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time, I think. Pretty sure on that one. Um, excuse my fingers. I have been dyeing paper. Um, I got this olive green um, idea from Amy at uh, Hags Hollow Darkwood Sanctuary. She kind of goes by a lot of different names, but uh, she live streams a lot. And um, I'll put her information in here, um, but go check her out. I really enjoy her and her creativity. And um, yeah, so let's focus on what we're doing. <laughs> Um, so my four themes, uh, first one is Van Gogh and then Asian and a galaxy or celestial. And the last one is chocolate. Yes. Um, I'm, I don't even know which one I'm more excited about. So let's just get started here. I will start with, well, since we said Van Gogh, we'll go ahead and start with this one first. I got this book at a a charity shop and I, I have always loved Van Gogh since I was in the second grade. I remember doing an art project um, in the style of Van Gogh and it just, I mean, second grade, that was a while ago. <laughs> so um, it's, I've always been drawn to him and I don't exactly know um, every reason why, but I do think that you have um, a draw towards people um, or events or themes or whatever it is in your life um, for a reason. There's something to be learned there. There's a, you know, a contrast or there's a similarity. There's something about that person um, or what their mission was that, that kind of ties you together through the ages. So I have... I have a lot of things that I've been gathering up for these different themes and I didn't know when I was going to get to them and all this kind of stuff. So this book, um, when I came across it, I was with my friend uh, and we were out in the rare, one of the rare times being out and about and I just snatched it up so fast. Um, it has kind of a, it had kind of like a, not musty odor, but kind of like a, hmm. A gentleman who enjoyed Old Spice owned this book. <laughs> we'll say that. So I just um, was neutralizing it with some dryer sheets um, throughout a couple of the pages here. So if you see those, um, that's all they are. <laughs> um, I don't have everything um, picked out. I don't have everything uh, pre-selected, you know, not, nothing like that. But... So when I'm going through and picking pages for four journals, um, I don't really have a method other than I just start to snag things that I like. Like this page right here where it says um, excessive zeal. I really like that. So it's a keeper. I, I do like around three signatures. I'm not sure the sizes of everything I'm going to do. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know 
exactly what I'm going to do. But the plan is um, to complete three journals. So that's something. Oops, selecting this one here. I guess I'm not sure how to keep it in frame. Sorry. We'll do a final flip through of everything. So I got his photo there. I really like that. This one, I, uh, I really like this, um, the field with the corn, um, the socks, but I want to leave that one for um, Thanksgiving. Here we go, hoarding the books, hoarding the books, right? Something we can't do. Look, I mean, I have this huge book <laughs> of his work, and I literally cannot, um, geez, I cannot um, even bring myself to use them all. Okay, so I'm starting to get a theme here, not a theme, but I'm starting to get a feel here. Now that I've torn my first pages out and I can start to uh, feel better about it. Now this one's not really coming loose, so I'm going to grab my, I'm not a pro, I am new to crafting and even newer to um, book binding, journal making. So I'm just going to take a blade and very gently go down just kind of the edge here. I don't feel the need to directly pull um, the entire page, you know, seam and binding and all proper like. So, oh man. You know, I watch YouTube a lot. I, I don't know if, I mean, you're here watching me, so I suppose you too also watch YouTube. But <laughs> when people do stuff on camera, I'm like, oh my gosh, I could never do that. Like, um, public math, you know, like I could never, <laughs> when they're trying to figure out measurements, one, I don't, I don't favor measuring <laughs> to begin with. So, um, yeah. So when they're measuring stuff and taking half of this and that, and, you know, getting real particular about scraps that they're using, I appreciate that definitely, but it is not my, it's not my vibe because I'm just not, um, just really not into it you know it's not my thing I kind of like to eyeball stuff and then get frustrated and then etch it down and <laughs> you know be nice and difficult but really um yeah I don't I don't like measuring stuff um, to exactness I think um, people are able to be creative while measuring and being exact in particular, and I have no idea how they do that. No idea. Because it's just so... I guess it just kind of takes the fun out of it for me. I'm going to do this garden one here. This book is so big. It's so pretty. Okay. So I got those three photos there that I want to use, and I'm going to pull back here to some of the information or the write-up. Oh, how do you even? <sighs> okay, we'll go with this page here. I have a digital... Kit. I, I actually I don't know how many kits I purchased, but it was all from Miss Cogs, Mrs. Cogs, Miss Cogs, and um, so I purchased from her shop, downloaded, and I printed. Some, this has been a while ago. Mm, I I don't even want to say how long. I'm not sure exactly, but I just printed them and set them to the side. I didn't really do anything else with them. And then I took a couple. I put them in just like a folder that I had. Um, I had a set of those around the house for some some other project that's no longer relevant. And some of them I zoomed in on because I wanted different sizes. And then some of them I just kept the standard size. Um, but she had like a whole Van Gogh. I want to say it was several sets of them um, that I purchased. Oh, absolutely love it. All of it. Sorry, I'm getting kind of quiet. <laughs> I'm just 
really thinking of a lot of stuff. So these are um, ones that I really zoomed in on and went ahead and just printed these on regular printer paper. And I am gonna leave them blank on the back um, and we'll figure out what we're gonna do with those. So those are the pages and these are, I'm pretty sure there's more to these kits, and, but I just did not print them all out at once. And I printed these on thicker paper. I wanna say it's 100 pound um, cardstock. I think that's the proper way to say it. Okay, so there's the Van Gogh and here's the exact you know, Van Gogh pages. Now I do want to add some other pages that aren't necessarily um, you know, Van Gogh, but art related. Oh, this is not the sketchbook that I thought it was. Um, I'll go ahead and start with these pages here. These are larger pages and um, I dyed these with turmeric and avocado. Just It was just a little bit of avocado dye left, so I watered it down and then I uh, warmed it up and added some dried turmeric. And turmeric is like a really yellow color, so I thought it would come out kind of um, tea dyed or... Um, I actually didn't really know how it was going to come out, but I like the way it turned out. I like it has a little bit of a brownish pinks and oranges and just a little bit of yellow to it, but I really like it. So I'm gonna pick a couple of these. We'll do one, two, three. I guess I can show you, huh? Four, five. Yep, we'll do five. No. I really like this one. We'll do six. <laughs> okay. Isn't that how it goes? Alright. We'll do six of the larger ones. And I do have some smaller pages. And I say smaller, but these are actually just um, regular printer uh, size. So eight and a half by eleven. So we'll do one, two. Actually, I like that one. Three. Three of those. And I've recently been watching Jessica Rapp, Two Silver Oranges, I believe is her Etsy shop name or maybe another name that she goes by. But she really has a, a lot of practical knowledge. Um, she uses what she has and just really comes up with great ideas. And I, I like her tutorials because I feel like I'm a little bit uh, I create in a similar way as her, where you try, you are trying to explain something, but really you don't have a method. <laughs> you're just like, this is me creating something. So if you want to watch and hang out, then I think you're going to have fun. <laughs> but I actually feel a little bit like her in that way. Um, sorry if my voice is fading out. I'm turning the other direction to see the papers that I have beside me and on the shelf here. And I just pulled a couple of books and whatnot. I actually want to open this here and pull out, I'm going to say three pieces of vellum. However, I don't know that I'll use all three or even use them in their full sheets to their entirety. I might actually end up printing on them. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. Seems to be a common theme this evening, right? Not sure what I'm going to do. And I have this news newspaper print, I think, or newspaper, uh, blank, obviously. So I'm going to grab just two of those. And I, because Van Gogh is such an interesting, was, sorry, such an interesting human. Um, and just a romantic, I suppose, is the right thing to say. I think I want to put some music pages in there. Uh, I, <laughs> I don't know exactly what I want here, so maybe let's flip this way. So I had this out here when I, or I had this outside with me. Oops. I had this outside with me when I was dying pages, and um, obviously my fingers kind of came across it here, so. Uh, when I was picking out pages and ripping them through and 
They must a little sentimental. Isn't that him? Very sentimental. So let's make sure nothing's improper on the other sides. Looks good to me. And I'll just tear that out. And I might keep uh, rough edges on this. And you're, you guys, anyone who's particular right now or knows what they're doing and is watching me is probably freaking out about how I'm ripping these pages out. <laughs> But I, I found that as I'm tearing pages out, right, sometimes it gets weird. Sometimes they get, you know, messed up on the sides and I cut it off and try to make it even and all these other things. And sometimes I just like the way it ended up, you know, just like the way it came through. And maybe just one more that doesn't necessarily have a tag. Idol. All right, we'll do this one because a little base on the back. So thank you. All right, so three pages. That is good for me. And the plan is to again the plan. I keep saying the plan, right? So um, artists, creators it, don't always go to plan. I guess not. Anybody always goes to plan, right? You don't have to be an artist or creator. But anyway, um, the plan is to do everything on camera so you can just see, I guess, my process. And I guess I can document my process so I can understand my uh, the way I do things a little bit better and see efficiencies or ineffic inefficiencies and, I don't know, just kind of learn. You know, lifetime learner. The next, um, that, so that's all the pages that I have um, that I want to pull for the Van Gogh theme. The next theme, second theme, is uh, Asia or Asian. I'm not sure. This um, paper pad, I, okay, so it all started out with a kit, right? It always starts with a kit. And then I found another kit and then another kit. And then I just kept finding these that I just absolutely loved. And then I started printing some on the front and then a different kit on the back. And I just, so here's the pages that I've already printed. And this was some time ago. Again, all these journal themes I've had in mind for a while. I just didn't know when I was going to make them or what, were they going to be actual journals? Were they going to, you know, what were they going to be exactly? I'm not sure why I have some of these um, pages, but, oh, <laughs> there's a little heart. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why I have those uh, cardinal, Christmas cardinal pages. It's Christmassy to me. I, I don't think I want this in my my Asian journal. So I'm just going to send it to the side. Probably I was cleaning up and it got the, you know, the get off my desk shove. So it just went into the first folder folder available. Chances are that's what happened. So this is newsprint, um, that newspaper that I was showing you guys. I just have a digital printed out on that. Looks like I have my, I've got to incorporate a heart. That's just the way it is. We'll add that. Um, yeah, so this is just thinner paper. So we'll put those in there. Oh, the crane, I definitely want that. That's not a full page. I don't think I'm doing a whole page of that. No, not doing a whole page, but we'll keep this, um, but not in the papers. So yes on that one, yes on that one. And these are just one, these are digital also, and these are one-sided. They don't have um, anything on the back there. And it's also one-sided. Here's some Proverbs. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. No, I don't want to use that as a page. Now this one here. Oh, guys. This is why I wish I was live streaming right now. <laughs> I could ask you and then you could tell me I'm crazy or yes, that's a good idea. Oh, wow. Those are similar, but different. Oh, I like them. Okay. Well, that was easy. <laughs> There's that. Okay. And we are going to keep the heart in here because I think it's calling out saying, please, please. Okay. So we'll put that in there. 
And these here, I think I'm going to make these into smaller pages, two, at least two of these. So we'll put those with the pages. Good stuff. All right. And we'll put the folder up there and just pick a couple from the Far East stack. Ooh. These are one, oh, sorry. These are one-sided pages. So we're gonna have that one. Let's see. Ooh. I just finished a hummingbird journal that had a similar background like this. Uh, it was a digital though. Ooh, foiling. <laughs> Do you ever, of course, of course, it's not just me, right? You ever buy a paper pad because you just have to have it and then when you go back and look at it, it is just like 10,000 times more gorgeous than when you first bought it and you're like, why haven't I used this yet? I could be using this on a million things. That's how I'm feeling right now. Is this a Lotus? Okay, I'm putting my finger on that one just to keep it, just in case, because I do want to incorporate Lotus into this. Ooh, those will be fun to add to. Not as a full page. Yep, I already saw that one. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to put my finger on that page too. Oh, yes, yes. I like red. I think red is um, maybe not my favorite color. I like black a lot too. I've really been, probably in the past five years, been getting more and more into um, like the olive green, actually kind of the color shirt that I'm wearing today. Like an olive green drab, I'm not sure exactly, army green maybe. I'm not sure what to call it, but Oh, that's a pretty one. I'm already thinking of, you know, multiple journals. I'm like, oh, this will be good for this one. And then, oh, this will be good for the next one. <laughs> but, you know, you have a whole paper pad and or you have a whole digital kit, you know, and it's not just that you use it once. It, you know, you can use it. Well, depending on what you're using it for, you can use it many times. So, oh, OK. That's what we're doing. Sorry. My brain just clicked. So we're going to take that page and then we're going to take this page. And one thing I like about using scrapbook paper is that, um, well, none of my journals are, you know, six by 12. So that means that I'm going to have automatically, I'm going to have scraps. And I think that's really awesome because then it all starts to tie itself together without being so um, like right beside each other. And if you use the whole sheet of 12 by 12 and say you only had one sheet of each design, then you'd kind of be locked in like, well, that was my one. So I don't know. It's just kind of my thought process. So the ones I selected, uh, we had this one red one. These two I thought were going to be wonderful together or contrasting or something. I don't know yet, but they're going to be awesome. I know it. Really like this one. It's almost like a cherry blossom, but instead of the flower being bright, the background is bright. I don't know. I'm not, I don't know my botanicals, so it might not be a cherry blossom. And this one's just more, these two right here are more subdued with the, with the one with writing and one with flowers. But all right, so those are the ones I selected. And in addition to our digital ones that I already had printed, that I think is all the printed stuff that I had out. I do want to put some coffee dyed pages with this. I don't want to do just regular ones. I'm looking behind me here and I think what I want to do, you know what? I have this stack of these papers here. And these are from Amazon. They're like, um, they're soft print, that one got ripped. They're um, soft printer pages. So they're smooth. I say soft, but they're smooth, right? So there's different uh, antiqued looking designs here. I kind of like that one. It's got a greenish to it. Um, I do like the contrast. I like when things are contrasting. So the contrast to red is green. They are complementary colors, I think is the right term. 
um, because they're across from one another on the color wheel. So I got three of those over there and I'll do, these are like a thick card stock. I'm not sure how heavy it is. I also got these from Amazon and I might print something on those. Um, hmm. Yeah, we'll do two of those. All right, and then we'll set these to the here. And I think that is all of those smooth pages that I want to do. Yeah, that's going to look really good. I really like that. Okay, so those are those pages. And we're looking for, you ever coffee dye stuff and then, or dye pages in general, and you're like, where did all of those go? They went somewhere. I don't know where, but they went somewhere. Alrighty. Alright, so here's some pretty unique ones that I dyed. Um, I guess it's been a while ago. This is turmeric here. It was a turmeric coffee blend. I don't think the yellow is going to look very good with this theme, surprisingly. Um, I usually... I usually think the yellow goes good with brown, but for some reason it's just not looking right. Okay, I really like this page. really like that one. <laughs> Why am I putting the ones I'm keeping away from the camera? <laughs> okay, so we've got two of these lined ones. This one has holes. Yeah, something about this turmeric one is just not really vibing with this theme right now. Ooh, yes, yes. How do you guys keep your pages organized? The papers that you dyed or stained or whatever term you use. How do you keep those? Oh, what was I doing this evening? This was a great time. Look at the, look at the greenish to that. That's that is on key with my with my theme here and no on this this is one of my favorite pages that I dyed and I just uh, I cannot bring myself to use some of these they're so pretty I have to figure out how to capture that okay so we have two plain we have one with holes and then we have one two three four five oh you hear that Glorious. Five of the bond. Okay. That is that. And these are the ones that are for another project. Another day. All right. So I think that's good for that theme right there. Boom. Another one done. And next we are going to move on to the galaxy or celestial theme. This is one that I just never really thought that I would be into, but I found myself making a dragon journal. Another thing I did not think I would ever be into, but I found myself making a dragon journal and then that quickly turned into spells and magic and that quickly turned into celestial and um, celestial and astrology, astronomy, all kinds of fun stuff. I don't even have a, a way to capture. <laughs> um, this one is really interesting. I haven't um, opened it and looked at all the pages yet. I actually wanted to kind of do it with you guys on here. This is definitely a different kind of video, so hopefully it's something that you guys enjoy. If not, um... oh my. Okay, things you shouldn't do on camera, right? Here we go, public math, opening things, using a knife. Uh, let's see, what else can we add to the list this evening? Um, yeah, so the brand is Stamperia, and I believe I got this uh, from Amazon, but I'm not certain. So I think Stamperia is a vent or they sell to vendors, they don't have their own site. Um, well, they have stamperia.com, but this one wasn't available there. I, I forget how it came about um, that I found this, but here we are. 
So this is uh, Stamperia and it's Cosmos is the title of the series or of the, it's not a paper pad, so a paper pack maybe? Oh my gosh, how do you choose? Okay, so thinking of our theme here, thinking of our theme. So it's not so much galaxy, it really is more astronomy, celestial, mm -hmm. yes, okay. This one's happening, yep, this is it for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Mm, yes, that's very nice too. I like that, I really like the background of this. Oh, that's really fun too. Yeah, see, I think the problem with this one is I am not gonna be able to use it on the covers because I want to use both sides. Yeah, and that one's really pretty too because I wanna be able to see both sides. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, yes. Okay, let me mark that page. The owl, very pretty. Oh, is there a second one of that one? Um, Okay, so the page is the same on this side, so I can use this one for this side, and then this one could be used otherwise because um, it's the back cover, but of course I'm going to use it. Okay, cool. Oh, that one's pretty too. Oh, decisions. Okay, maybe. I'm going to come back. All right. Here is a Stardust Stack is the name of this paper pad, and I like it for a lot of reasons. Um, it is one-sided paper, so that's something to keep in mind. Yes, yes, this one. Whoop. And I'm just going to do a flip like this. I think I've showed this in one of my other videos. I don't recall which one. I think I was trying I was just kind of playing around with one-sided paper which was this scrap of paper here and I was just playing around with it seeing what I could make from it and I want I really love this paper but I want to try to stick with like a purpley blue kind of vibe to this black is okay right now oh okay maybe see I can't I can't okay this one's a yes and see the star right there or the sh shining emblem right there see how good that pairs with this it's it's like the same thing but it's just different enough this is a maybe even though I just said that I didn't want to be doing that color um, hmm. I don't know this one feels a little this one's a maybe it feels a little cartoony but maybe um, depending on how I lay it in there it'll be a little bit different to be able to give it a different feel um, oh, that one's really interesting. It's like an up close. Yeah. Yes, please. Okay. And let's see. Oh, that one's pretty. Yeah, we're gonna have to go with that one instead. We'll use this page. Okay, okay. And I think there was another one. Okay, yeah. I want to use this on the reverse side of one possibly okay so those are all of our maybes pulled out okay so i think i don't need this i think i don't need any more from this so but it's always there to come back to in case we need some more all right so um just what pulled through my head on that making it look less cartoony i should really left that open sorry i I'm going to put a couple pieces of vellum. We'll do we'll do three pieces. Oops. And I have some just from my ideas earlier from my digital kits and whatnot. Not sorry, not my digital kits, the digital kits that I purchased. I have some stuff printed out here, um, just kind of gathering up stuff and cutting it as I have time. <clears throat> I usually don't get big um, gaps. Gap is the right word. Big amounts of time. Um, I thought this was so pretty. I was I was trying to do like a lion and lamb kind of thing, like the spring coming. You know, I don't know. I don't think it's gonna work out. Though. Maybe next year. All right. Yes. 
Yes, these are all on newsprint. I thought they had a really neat feel to being newsprint. Yes, yes. Um, not as a page, but yeah. Uh, email. Uh, yes. And yes. And this is printed on uh, regular copy paper. So, you know, I just kind of went through that there and I was like, no, yes, no, yes. I don't know how to explain that. How do you explain just, um, on a whim, I said no or yes. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I guess that's the part that I, I don't really know how to explain. Um, yeah. Let's see here. This is just a book, um, a, a tarot guidebook. And I'm not sure if this really applies. I don't know, is it? Uh, I don't know, that's kind of cute. It's got a little star on it. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do that one. And this page is stark white, right? So maybe I'll do something um, to kind of knock it back or something. I'm not sure. Um, ooh, yeah, this. Oh, but see, now I, I have a horse journal that I want to do, and I don't know. Like, there's so many. Honestly, there's so many pages in here. I could, you know, rip out so many of them and wouldn't even wouldn't even be a thing but all of a sudden now I'm starting to care like oh no I can't let that go and see that one I'm like oh that'll look so good yeah this will look really good with the uh, stag that was in the other one we'll tear that up sorry it's sewn in so I'm trying to like um because the pages are so small I guess I don't want to rip them and make it worse oh that one's pretty too okay that pretty deer in there. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Okay. And then this is, I think, oh my god. <laughs> All these little deer are just, they're making the cut today, aren't they? <clears throat> I think there's, I think with these sewn in books, um, you're supposed to cut them before you rip them. Okay. The whole family is in. The whole family of stags has made it into the the journal. They have made the cuts. So fear not, the family is not separated. They are fully intact and they will live in the journal and um, belong to whomever, whoever purchases them. Okay. I actually like that that's black on the back. I think I have some black paper uh, out out and about somewhere. Oof, so pretty. Okay, those go great together. All right, and now for the more, I don't think they're the more plain pages, but uh, compared to that, they really are the more plain pages. I want to stick with the purple and blue theme. Sorry again, I'm turning away. It's just this, this selection of papers is amazing. Um, hmm. These are blue, purple ones that I did recently. Food colored. I think I use food coloring for these. Um, I don't think I use any natural dyes for these ones, but they came out kind of fun. And I think I used the gel food coloring. That's what it was, gel food coloring. So I'm gonna pick some of these. It's kind of brighter, I actually like that. Oh, I like, see this edge right here? Isn't that so pretty? I don't know if you can really see it if it's coming through, but yeah, I'm gonna do that one. This one's okay. Um, Ah, it's a maybe. And then because this one right here will look really nice with it and then it will transition really well into this one. And look at that edge. Look how it got all saturated like that. I have to pay more attention when I'm dyeing papers. I just get so excited when I'm dyeing the papers that I forget what I did to get that to look a certain way. Um, and this one's really faint. I don't know if you can see how that's coming through, but it's really pretty. And we'll do, yes, three of them. That's good. 
I'm just kind of going to different spots in the stack because I know when I'm dyeing them, like I start to like, oh, let's do this and oh, I want to do that. And then it starts to kind of evolve in front of, in front of me. So I just kind of go with it. Oh, that's a pretty one. Look at that, that purple. This one's kind of pinky purple, but it's not too pink. I'm not a real pink person. Um, with avocado dyeing, I've become more of a pink person than I ever have been. So that's been kind of fun to experience. And let's see, it's actually quite a few pages. Um, I have a feeling this one's gonna get absolutely out of control very fast. Uh, just because I like those colors together so much. And I had so much fun dyeing these pages here. Um, hmm, let's see, oh, ooh, ooh, that one right there. Yeah, look at that one. It's so interesting, it's got that going on on the side and it has something that dripped on it right here. Oh yes, oh yes. I've been drying some of my pages outside because the weather's starting to break and be sunny and breezy. So I've been, um, you know, I do most of the work inside and then I take them out and, you know, lay them in the field to dry. So that's been pretty fun. And this is really a light blue, but I want, in all these journals, I want to make sure I leave plenty of like actual journaling writing space so they're not going to be heavily decorated or anything like that they're just going to be um you know just enough for interest okay and actually that's all the plain pages i think i'm just going to stick with those so we just went through those right there we have our family of stags here we have those um, newsprint pages i showed you a couple vellums our scrapbook from the the one-sided scrapbook stuff and then the two-sided from the stamperia and yeah i actually think that's good that's plenty and that finishes that theme off and we'll just set it up with the rest of them that one goes there and there we all have our own little sense of organization right method to the madness type of thing and the last one is again not picking favorites here but this one is chocolate and it I, I'm not even sure how it came about again it's one of those things here's I have some Easter kits here which I might take it from like just just chocolate so like an Easter -y chocolate kind of thing I'm not sure so I'm gonna hold off on picking uh, any pages from that at this point so okay so this is the digital stuff that I've printed out already that I just really liked I believe these are one-sided yeah I didn't go back and reprint anything on the back because I have some papers that I made um, that I might want, that I thought, oh, it would be good to glue this on the back. And this is really interesting. This might be a cover situation. So, oh, look, I, I had that in mind. Yep. Okay. So I'll set these, um, with the pages and we might be making some kind of, uh, a different size than my, than my typical, um, the Van Gogh one, oh, I guess I could be showing you these digitals. The Van Gogh one is going to be big. It's going to be a bigger size. I'm not going to cut that down. I don't intend to, at least. Not for this one. Maybe subsequent journals, I'll make them. Um, I'll make them different, smaller, cut down, and whatnot. But these ones, I, I think I just want to leave them large the way they are. Um... I don't recall if this again was multiple digital kits or if I even printed them all out, but these are gonna make really good um, following for ephemera and decorations and whatnot. So yeah, those are the only full pages that I printed out. I know there was more full pages. Uh, I just, for whatever reason, those were the ones that I selected and picked out. So those are the pages pages that we'll keep from the digitals and this is maybe a cover um, or signature covers but it's printed on thicker paper cardstock so um, that work's already done for us and same with these two really liked how those looked okay so 
we have those and I have several books that I didn't really give them a good flip through so I'm not sure exactly if there's anything in here um, but I just saw them and I was like hey this is gonna be pretty cool so we'll give it a shot so this is Tupperware and it's not necessarily chocolate um, obviously it's Tupperware <laughs> but just the the home the home ec side of it or the home you know just just the way things around the house go and whatnot you know like mixing and whatnot I thought it would be kind of cool let's see here Tupperware parties I don't recall personally being invited to Tupperware parties I think um that unfortunately ended a little bit before um, my time but I remember going with family members to Tupperware parties and I just thought it was like so much fun just like seeing all the stuff and touching it and they always had like the best snacks and I thought that was really fun. Hmm, okay. I actually kind of like this one. She's got the chocolate cake going on. Does she have a knife in her hand? <laughs> I don't know. She looks kind of... She just looks kind of... um quintessential maybe is the right term yeah we're gonna do this one I'll give this just a little little help this isn't a legit old book this is um reprints this is called Tupperware party pa past present future so this is not a legit old style book it's just more of like the reprints advertisements of old style book or old style um items so let's see here. What else do we have? Um, oh, that's a good one. I don't think I'm going to use that for anything. Okay, nope. And that's all for that book. And next is The Lost Art of Pie Making. I wanted to see if they had a chocolate mousse in here. That's what I was looking for. Oh, wouldn't it be fun? Oh, wouldn't it be fun to do a pie? journal but incorporate both pi like pi and then pi like 3.14 that would be fun i bet that would be really cute i have a friend her name um her channel name sorry not her real name <laughs> her channel name is pastries pumps and pie and it's spelled pi like p-i but obviously the other parts of the um <laughs> the other parts of the name you can tell that she obviously likes uh, the sweets. She always has like the newest snacks. It's always funny. Um, she does a Tuesday, she calls them Tuesday talks. Um, so she's pretty, she's pretty fun. We always uh, give her a hard time because she started actually having a snacks uh, sponsor. <laughs> it's not like a real sponsor, but she's, you know, this stream is brought to you by, and then whatever she's eating that day, <laughs> she explains it to us and how great and amazing it is. And, you know, half of us are on a diet. <laughs> it's just really funny. Um, I don't know. You should tune in sometime, uh, Tuesdays. Um, okay. So this is a Betty Crocker new boys and girls cookbook. Uh, this one feels a little bit older. I'm not sure exactly. Um, <laughs> it doesn't have a D. It looks like somebody else ripped out a page. Um, let's see here. These are really cute. But I have to stick. I have to focus. I have to stick to chocolate. <laughs> Salads and vegetables. All right, chocolate. I know you're in here. <clears throat> tuna burgers oh that's interesting tuna celery american cheese onion mayonnaise hmm. oh those are cute okay salad veggies gingerbread boys speedy gingerbread boys brownies brownie slow pokes there we go all right that's looking good let's take that page the brownies and brownie slow poke and let's see what else we have. Cocoa fudge cake. Oh, oh, in the green and the purple. I love it. I love it. Green and purple look so good together. 
brownie fudge cake, easy cocoa icing. Oh, yes, yes. This is all coming along swimmingly. It's a really interesting spine. It just kind of ripped out, but kind of stuck together, too. Hmm, let me keep that together. Okay. Two clown cupcakes. Let's see. Quick fudge frosting. Oh, she looks like she's having a good time. Look at her right here. She is like super enjoying that. Yep, that's a keeper. And let's see what else do we have. Chocolate coconut drops. Um, I don't know. I don't really like that photo so much. Oh, that's fun. Kicks comets. Comets like our celestial, but I'm not gonna add it in there. Oh, a heart cake. Have you guys ever made that before? It's pretty simple. It's super cute. Alrighty. Alright. Oh, that's nice. A nice little picnic scene. Picnic with a pal. Okay. That's all from that. The teach me to teach me to cook for boys and girls. And this one's kind of old looking too. Methods of cooking. Just looking for looking for something. What did that say? Bunny salad? Oh, I don't know. This could be cute, right? It's not chocolate though, no. But if I went with the chocolate Easter theme, it would make sense. Royal cocoa, yes. Look at these two, just having a good old time. Sitting there drinking their cocoa. All right. put them right side up so I know why I tore it out and I think that's all from that book and there's this one called Great Food by Julie Russo and I don't know that there was anything in here I remember liking the photos in here and I think this one is categorized by uh, not not like breakfast, lunch, dinner type thing, but like season, like out on the beach. Like what would you eat on the beach? And there was um, yogurt, dips, fried green tomatoes. That's amazing. Dark chocolate, what was that? Dark chocolate mousse, tiramisu cake, vanilla, ginger. Mm, I wonder if they have a cocoa one on here, apricot. Green, creme brulee, sweet, the rice of life. Hmm. Yeah, I remember just really, when I saw this, these are all from the thrift store or the charity shop. Um, yeah, when I saw this, I just remember like thinking it was the pictures in it alone. So it was, I think, one of the first books that I bought. Hmm. Okay. Well, I will do the dark chocolate mousse <laughs> and the tiramisu cake. Vanilla on the back is really pretty too, so I might not want to um, cover that on the back. All right. Again, going to go ahead and put this right side out. So I remember why I ripped it out. All right, that's all from that book. And last but not least for the chocolate books, uh, chocolate fantasy. Oh, I was at the wrong time. There we go. All right, this is chocolate fantasies. Sorry. And these are shiny pages. Or um, the cover is shiny, but the pages inside just have their pictures like this. Right. Oops, sorry. Um. So they have chocolate bread, mocha, chocolate candy cake. So what I'm looking for here, this is all chocolate, right? So I'm looking for just a really good picture or a couple of pictures. Um, yeah, this is a good one here. Look at the pecan and then this side it has a... So these pages are in comparison 
you know, fairly, fairly white. You can see the couple different selections that I have taken there. They're more white than the other ones. So I might do something and knock that back, but I also might not, right? Sometimes I like the contrast. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this one, the sauces and frostings. We're just gonna pull that off. That. I really like this cover. I might want to pull that off, but not right yet. Candies, cookies. Is there one that said breads? I thought I saw one that said bread. Breads, yeah, those donuts are really cute. Chocolate donuts. That's just that's a good one. Beverages. Okay. Let's see. All right, I think this is the one I want, the Belgian mocha. I like how it's the chocolate brick, but then it's a, like a, a roll, you know, um, like a shaving of it, shaved chocolate. All right, there's that, and that is all from that book, except maybe the cover that might find its way uh, at a later time. And last, sorry if I bumped you there, uh, last but not least, for the chocolate journal, I made mocha paper, coffee dyed and cocoa powder. Uh, it was so much fun dyeing these, um, staining these, however you say. And I even did some note cards, uh, different size note cards, uh, larger note cards, and then the smaller, reg more regular size ones there. And the way it just came out and swirled, and if you could smell this, it's glorious. It's got the coffee going on, just real gentle chocolate, absolutely great. Um, I, I, <laughs> I don't even know how to choose. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so yes, 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 <laughs> yes, uh, yes, these are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, like even this one right here, I got a little bit toasty, it's so pretty, like, my goodness so pretty um these pages are what i was thinking to that i actually ripped and i was just kind of messing around um these pages that i ripped and wanted to see how it absorbed on the edges i was thinking i could put this on the back of the other pages that i uh the digitals that i was showing you from earlier oh goodness so pretty these are thicker pages um Hmm. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's look how it looks like it like dripped down. Sorry, I'm shaking. So pretty. Okay, we'll do that one. It just has like little pools, little spattery chocolates. Yes, yes. Okay, that's enough. That's good. Okay, and. I have some more of the mocha papers, but these ones are more coffee than they are chocolate. So they still have the chocolate in the in the batter, in the mix, um, but I tried to have more um, coffee on these ones. Oh my gosh, look how dark that one got. Um, yeah, I tried to have more coffee on these ones knowing that I was going to want to write on them, right? But I still wanted the whole chocolate uh, theme throughout. Yes. Actually, this one just caught my eye. Yes. See, I just like how this is, it, it just kind of absorbed towards the edges a little more than the other places. So yes, yes. Ooh, I feel like I'm saying yes to all of them. I think that's why I flip through in bunches too. 
because I, I will end up saying yes to the first, you know, 40 that I see and then, it, and then that's it. And then I never get to see the rest of them or it's not much of a variety. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And, okay. In my head, I'm like, okay, just one more, just one more. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's the last one right here. That's the last one. No more looking. Okay. I, I have such a big stack in front of me. It's absolutely outrageous. Okay, so as far as papers, I think that's enough. So we have the lighter mochas. We have the clearly mark, um, clear markings of the mocha there. Um, the digitals, the recipe. We've got a one Tupperware in there, um, one Tupperware page. And that is all for the chocolate um the chocolate journal that we're going to do. So we did Van Gogh, Asian, Galaxy, or Celestial, and Chocolate. Those are our four. And um, the hashtag is Journal Madness 2021. And um, so there's games today, obviously. That's why we're doing the first four. And uh, we picked out the four pages, or the four themes, sorry, and pulled the pages for all four themes. I know that was a big one. And tomorrow, um, they're playing again, obviously, and that's the first round. So we're going to be binding and trimming the pages. So that's all I have for today. Again, I know it was a lot, so um, lots of work ahead, but it's all going to be really fun, um, especially doing it together. But that is all I have for today. I'll see you back here next time at Lovely's Crafting Lunch.